today on MTG Unpacked, we have a special guest. You may have seen him before, if you have not, you may want to go back to some of the older videos. It's Howard the Duck, he's going to do the pack blessing today, and we have three packs of Dominaria with Planeswalkers on the cover, so hopefully that will get us some good pulls, and Elspeth, I don't know what happened to Elspeth, she was not giving us good pulls, so she has been exiled, maybe she'll come back, maybe she won't, depends how well Howard does, if Howard does terrible, we may very well exile him, so we start off with Syncopate, Fire Elemental, Dub, Lenoir Scout, and I like to pull, yeah, this guy did this last time, Cabal Paladin, Call the Cavalry, Ancient Animus, and we have a pile arrangement issue here, Power Stone Shard, Unwind, Death Bloom Thalid, and for the Uncommons we have Fight with Fire, Memorial to War, Wild Onslaught, and the rare is Torga Famine Incarnate. So he is a 7-6 legendary creature avatar for 8 mana. As an additional cost to cast a spell, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. The spell costs 2 less to cast for each creature sacrificed this way. And when he enters the battlefield, up to one target player's life total becomes half their starting life total. Rounded down. Nastiness. Alright. And a forest. And a sapling. There we go. Always nice to get a sapling token. I think they're better than the uh, servos or the uh, thopter tokens seem to plague us for many months or years as the case may be. Next up to Larian Scholar. Frenzied Rage, Healing Grace, Cabal Paladin, Adventurous Impulse, Soul Salvage, Grow from the Ashes, Mesa Unicorn with Fantastic Hair, Aesir Glider, and for the uncommons, we have Siri is going off for some reason. Elfheim Druid is the first uncommon. Settle the score. Wild Onslaught. And the rare is not a rare. We have a foil instead. I'm as confused as ever. Blessed Light for five mana. Instant exile target creature or enchantment. That foiling is pretty. Pretty nice. Thank you, Howard the Duck. And the rare is a legendary creature avatar. 4-4 four, four, for 6 mana. Evra Halcyon Witness. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Life Link. You can pay 4. Exchange your life total with Evra Halcyon Witness's power. Ooh, that could be risky. So let's say you do this uh, with 20, so then her power becomes 20, but your life total becomes 4. So you could do a killing blow with that. That seems like it would be a fun combo to try to pull off. And an island and a soldier token. Alright, last pack. We better pull a Teferi Howard or you will be exiled, sir. And we'll get another Planeswalker to help us out. Okay, Syncopate. Fire Elemental. Dub. Divest. Let me pick your brain, sir. I don't know what he's pulling out of there, though. Seems a little disturbing. Lanawar Scout. Voltaic Servant. Runamuck. Gideon's Reproach. And this, I have to make a comment, this reminds me of the really epic punch card from uh, Unstable. So like just punching this dude. Thalid Omnivore. Jousting Lance. Amaranthine Wall. And we actually pulled a foil one of these the other day, that was pretty nice. Sanctum Spirit. And Josu Vess Lich Knight. 
Four five for four mana. Legendary creature zombie knight with kicker five and a swamp. And he has menace. And when he enters the battlefield, if he was kicked, create eight two two black zombie knight creature tokens with menace. That seems pretty nice. And for the legendary creature, we get whisper blood liturgist and a swamp and a knight token. Okay, my pick today, I'm going to pick Evra, because I think that would be a fun combo to try and do that. It could backfire horribly, but I think it would be worth a try. And let's go with this one for the uncommon slot, Whisper Blood Liturgist 2-2 for 4 mana. Legendary creature, human cleric, you can tap and sacrifice two creatures, and you get to return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Alright, and the commons. Um, let's go with the really epic punch here. Gideon's Reproach, instant for two, deals four damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Go Gideon, give him a whack in the... In the jaw there. And he's like, ooh. Alright. So if you agree or disagree with the picks, or you really don't care at all, leave a note in the comments. And if you like Howard the Duck, if you want him to return the blessed packs, then also leave a note in the and he's a bobblehead, that is weird. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and have a great day.